Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting a flyweight bout between Rafael Filo versus Daniel Barres. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence um Rafael Filo to beat um, Daniel Barres. So I really don't see the hype behind Daniel Barres. I know some people probably on the net, I know I definitely saw some people on um, Twitter saying, oh my gosh, Barres is such a good dog and this is stuff like before the fight was set up and stuff, like oh guys sleeping on him, that's easy money. I don't know, somebody started that day. But, hey, if he wins, he wins, but just like stat wise, looking at him and his level of competition, it's really just kind of, that's a coin flip. I mean, you bet on him, like, Philo, that's a good pick. Barres, that's you a coin flip. You're just hoping, like, well, you're just hoping he wins. I, I can't see no logical reason to lean, well, not a great logic to lean behind Barres, to be honest. It's the fact that you're dealing with uh, Philo, who's primarily a grappler, but we have definitely seen him win on a contender series versus a good, well rounded wrestler and striker in last fight. Not his last fight, but his contender series fight, he not, eventually knocked him out. But I think he actually outstruck him most of the fight. Yes, and we've seen his grappling, you know, several times came close to tapping Mokayev and would have tapped 99.9% .9 of fighters even in the UFC level. So, we see him actually have elite competition and, you know, do well against elite competition. Barres, what do you for Carlos Hernandez, who's really at UFC-wise mediocre, let's be honest. At this, as far as where he's at, he's right now in the UFC caliber, he's mediocre. He's in the mediocre department. Terrible wrestling defense. And, uh, yeah, what he showed in that fight, that's the fight where he had the most rounds. Even look at when he um, lost the contenders race fight and what he done since. He beat a guy who's like 14 and 10, 6 and 8, 6 and 9. He's been fighting bums. I could see he probably, I would give him like, you know, you know give him an olive branch, say he's the better striker. It's not like he spam the same combination. But hey, it's, it's effective. He got some power. He's good with it. Um, His rest is okay. Maybe he had to use the rest defensively to try to stand with Philo. I can't see him st stuffing all Philo's in. You know, on top of that, I go back to the. Um, Barra's fight, that's like really the only fight in recent, not fighting a legit bum, but fighting like a decent guy, at least UFC caliber enough to beat him to get in UFC, and Carlos Hernandez, you know, he looked good the first round, he got two takedowns, I think he outstruck um, Hernandez by like three stri significant strikes, like, so he looked good in the first round, then the second round, his output dropped from like 28 significant strikes to like 10 or something, 10, 13, then last round it was like seven significant strikes, so a guy who likes to run over people in the first round, and so far has not shown to be able to go the distance and look good. Or go round look good like, like a first round fighter. It seemed like he did get two takedowns in the third round, but again, takedowns not no real control time, and it shows a guy that just doesn't have his team. At least um Philo, you know, he went with elite competition, you know, had was threatening him the whole fight, and yeah, I mean you can say maybe he faded in the third round, but against obviously against elite competition, not Carlos Hernandez, Mokayev and Hernandez are like in two different stratospheres, but. Yeah, I got to go how far I feel. I feel like the gap between that grappling is bigger than the gap between that striking. I feel like anything Philo could possibly could knock out Barres. If Barres think he's the dude on the feet, he's not. I would say that for a fact. As far as overall MMA, if Stephen in the UFC and think he's going to be that dude on the feet, he will not be that dude. I would say that to him. I will say his mom, his family, you will not be that dude on the feet. You will not be that dude in no type of fashion. You will not be no specialist that, oh, this guy, is, don't strike with him. Don't do this. Like, do whatever you want with um, Barres. Just be prepared. That's what I would say. He ain't gonna be no monster in no particular character. He might very much win this one. I would not pick him. I would not bet him. I would definitely probably lean to more betting Philo in this one. I'm picking Philo in this one. But yeah, I'm talking a little bit too much, but it's not even a quick pick. This is a discussion. But um, yeah, I think Hoffa, again, to sum it up, the gap between their grappling is much bigger than the gap between their striking. And also, the level of competition is a big gap between their level of competition and also how they feared against that level of competition. So he fought better competition and feared better against better competition. Barra is just mostly knocked down cans. That's what he, he's, he's been can crushing. But we have seen some guys be able to come back from can crushing and start stacking big wins on their resume, but I don't think he's one of those guys. So I think he might actually have a surprisingly good first round. Maybe even hurt Philo in the first round, but I think Philo has more heart and more tough and more skill. And I also think he'll be motivated by that performance against Mokhaf. And yeah, I think Barra's going to surprisingly have a good first round, maybe even drop him in the first round. But then he's going to start to fade, and then Philo will start to touch him. He's going to start to shell up, get hit with shots. And then Philo probably going to level change, drag him to the mat, tap him out second round so in this one i have Rafael philo via second round submission 